wide open space, clear sky. This will do nicely. I will now begin the process of hydromancy. Stay back and do not impede my vision. Oh, Cheap. Astral Emissary. Have thine eyes now discerned the secrets of the stars? Yeah, what did you find out? How strange. I've never seen this before. The divination shows that these meteorites came from someone's constellation. Constellation? But they don't have anything to do with real astrology. That's what most people tend to think, but I've studied astrology for a very long time, and I know a few things about huh. them that you might not. The stars that make up a constellation, the Stella Fortuna, are genuine celestial bodies in the depths of space. They are not simply notional. The strange thing is that they turned to meteors all of a sudden and fell from the sky. Why this happened, I am not yet sure. I need a curse. A wretched curse, I say. A curse? I, too, have journeyed to the stars, gazed beyond the veil of darkness, and glimpsed a shred of the truth. The only one who died the most agonizing of deaths could leave behind such a vengeful spirit. We must interrogate the population, find the doer of this diabolical deed, the one who created this sinister specter is the true kill. Sorry, I'm not quite following you. What curse and what killer? Uh, don't take every word she says <laughs> What's going on here? Why are the Traveler and Paimon frantically winking at me? Oh! Oh, I understand. Thou dost? <laughs> Marvelous! The astral emissary understands at last. No, simplemente eres una loca. Mutual understanding is the crucial first step towards effective teamwork. Welcome to the team, Mona. You are hereby appointed as an honored servant of the Princessin. Unleash thy power in service of our solemn duty to dispel this darkness once and for all. Honored? <laughs> you should feel honored to have found me. Without me, you'd be doing ten times the work for half the results. <laughs> Paimon likes you, Muna. You seem like the real deal. <laughs> well, I'm glad you agree. Feel free to keep the compliments coming. With hmm. my astrolabe, I have ascertained the trajectory of fate. Next, I'll calculate the locations of the fallen meteorites. For I need to look into the constellation issue in more detail. In the meantime, let me know ASAP if you don't worry about it. As far as the astrological aspect goes, this will be a piece of cake. Mona, thanks to you, we've managed to get rid of loads and loads of meteorites. Ah, good timing. There's something I need you to do. Remember how I was saying that the meteorites belong to someone's constellation? Theoretically, it's not possible for stars that are goodness knows how many light years away to suddenly turn into meteors and fall out of the sky. But if we want to get to the bottom of this, the best way is to find out whose constellation it was. Based on what you've told me, it seems that all victims of the meteorites fell into a deep sleep and all of them dreamed of a snowy mountain. Uy, mierda, está hablando de la nueva now, zona. we may not know which mountain this was, but we can safely assume that it's not Dragonspine. Otherwise, someone would have recognized it, right? Did everyone definitely have the same dream? And where exactly were they in the dream? These are the questions that we need answers to. I need you to find out more details about the sleeper's dreams. The more information we have, the closer we can get to the truth. Seems we should head somewhere with lots of people around. 
That way, we should be able to find more victims to question. I need to stay in an undisturbed environment. So, I will leave the investigating to you. Is there anywhere that we haven't been to yet? There is Chinksa village, in Liwa. Although it does not usually match your suggestion of somewhere with lots of people around. That said, I suspect that the Millilith will have turned that area into a site where victims can receive medical attention. Hello! We're from the Adventurer's Guild. Can you tell us if Chinksa Village has been affected by the meteorites? Adventurers! Perfect! I was beginning to despair at the lack of helpers. These meteorite strikes have been going on for days now. Don't even get me started on how much trouble it's caused. If one lands in a field, no one dares to go and harvest the crops. And if one lands at the entrance, pff, access is a complete nightmare. Do you have any ideas on how to safely dispose of them? They're just making everything impossible. Guess we'd better help this guy out. Done and dusted. Wonderful. Oh, what a huge help. Have any of the victims woken since the start of the incident? Oh, I wouldn't know. You're better off just taking a look for... Mortal, art thou also descended into the realm of... Same situation that we've seen in other places, too. Hey there, has this guy woken up at any point? No, he has said a few things in his sleep, though. What kind of things? So cold, can't go on, things like that. Somewhere cold, up in the mountains. Where could it be? Hey, has this guy woken up at it? Not so far. Okay, um, has he said anything in his sleep? Now that you mention it, yesterday he suddenly cried out. So high. Who knows what he was dreaming. How high? High as a snowy mountain peak, maybe? A wicked mountain. Its frozen peak looming high. Let's talk to that guy over there, Net. Hello. Have any of the victims woken up? Funny you should ask. Gal the Six literally just woke up. All right. We're gonna go talk to him. That's fine. But he's only just awoken and is still very weak. If you must question him, please be gentle. Greetings, you who have suffered and lived to tell the tale. Food. <sighs> Need food. Are you okay? Sounds like you're starving. Uh, <sighs> I need... <sighs> home... <sighs> home cooking. Home cooking from Chingsa Village? Well, that can only mean one thing. Farmer food! <sighs> That's brought me back from the brink that... Did you have a dream while you were sleeping? Only the most exhausting dream of my whole life. Really? Why? What happened? Yes. How did you know? Way up in the mountains, the highest mountain I've ever seen. It was freezing up there. What were you doing there? I'm not sure. It's like I was... possessed. I was consumed by the idea of climbing up the mountain and trying to reach the summit. Was there... something special at the summit? Who knows? Honestly, it's like I became a completely different person in my dream. <sighs> Don't ask me why. I have no idea. It's hard to describe. It's like I was being controlled, as if somebody else put the idea of climbing the mountain into my head. I know how crazy that sounds, but... An intruder trespassed in the dark recesses of your soul? An idea not autonomously generated by the individual, but that appeared within the subconscious. Yes. The signs do indeed point towards my- All the other victims we've met have talked about being cold and needing to rest. Were they all climbing the mountain too? Hyman doesn't even want to think about it. We need to update Mona on all of this. 
Mona! We found some stuff out. An ice-capped mountain looms over the world from far above the clouds. That is the place from which this burgeoning darkness pers- Ice-capped mountain? Is that all? It's a really, really high mountain that no one's ever seen before, and it's super cold up there. The sleepers are forced to try and climb to the summit, but they don't know why. Climb the mountain? What sort of person would wish to reach the summit of that mountain? And how is their desire strong enough to exert an influence on others? Perchance some poor soul lies there, buried in the snow, hounded to death on the mountain. Or some intrepid explorer was exceptionally keen to conquer that particular mountain. Oh, I'll do another reading. I see something here. It's a little vague, but I think I can get his name. Uh, wow, that was fast. Well, in case you'd forgotten, I am a genius. Leonard. Paimon's never heard that name before. Hi! Uh, uh, Sounds interesting. Mind if I join you? What ho? We meet again, Vagrant of Inazuma. <laughs> My Ratan and I were just... <sighs> the first time the Millilith were present, I had to forego the chance to strike down Mondstadt's savior. This time was a perfect moment. I was mere seconds away. Who was that mage? She would not have known who I am. Perhaps her powers are real to her things unseen. Soldiers! Sir. Sir! Find them, and when you do... Another one? My lord! Ugh. It's happening again. This is the largest one we've seen so far. They just keep coming, but so be it. Move out. Change of plan. Your prior objective remains in force. Continue to research the meteorites. My lord, leave them to us. We will make short work of them. Are you deaf or just stupid? When did I give you the right to issue your own orders? My, my apologies, my lord. Now move out and complete your objectives as assigned. Any junior fortune teller could have told you this, but that man was a Fatui harbinger. That was too close. How did you manage to get caught up with a guy like him? Mm. A Fatui harbinger? Why, their wickedness knows no bounds. Whatever he was planning to do, he was heading straight for you. And he is an extremely powerful individual. I sensed it the moment I looked at him. He's far more powerful than you'd imagine. Déjalo venir, que aquí le vamos a partir toda la cabezota. Che chamaco pendejo. As much as it pains me to admit it. Surely his power cannot match that of the astrological genius of the century. I never said that. His strength may exceed mine by a hair's breadth, but in astrology alone, he doesn't come close. <gasps> this reminds Paimon of something. We ran into some Fatui at Wang Shuin too. What interest could the Fatui have in the meteorites? They must be plotting something. <sighs> oh, the Fatui are the ones who caused the meteor shower in the first place. Was that it? 
Paimon, that was my line. Get your own. Sorry. Paimon's mouth just works so much faster than everyone else's. Yeah. Where'd they get the power to pull stars out of the sky? Del bolsillo, Paimon del bolsillo. Osvaldo Hafnavines, what is thy opinion? I think that anything is possible, main Fräulein. So long as they can afford to pay the price, they will never stop sowing their seeds of destruction across the land. Fatui, your sin shall not go unremembered. I also believe that miracles can happen. Astral Emissary, you have performed admirably as a member of my retinue. I will dispatch my forces to protect you, and they will ensure that the encroaching darkness shall bring you no harm. She means... me. No need! Paimon thinks that our current lineup works just fine. No need to fix it if it ain't broke. You underestimate me, Fischl. I'm far stronger than you seem to think. Main Fräulein trusts no one more than yourself, my lady. She is simply concerned for your well-being. There's really no need. In any case, you're in a much more perilous position than I am. If anything, you need my protection. Huh? What are you saying that for? For now, we must deal with the new threat. My astrolabe tells me that a new meteorite has landed, and it's the biggest one yet. Huh. Looks like we made it here before the Fatui. Quick, there's no time to lose. This is the one. I sense an unprecedented amount of elemental energy within. The very heart of darkness descends upon the world. What do the Fatui want with this? Is it it's possible. But if that were the case, other life forms would surely be drawn to the meteorite's energy too. Vale, Fisher y Mona hablando. Huh? What the fuck? Is Fisher waiting for us? The okay. time has finally come. Though it brings Main Fräulein no joy to do so. There is something she must announce to the assembled populace. Vale, ahora en qué pedo nos quiere meter? My loyal servants, one must bid you adieu till such time as I beckon you once more. Though we have faced many trials and tribulations together. Okay, nos va a dejar. You're just gonna bail on us? Sí, se va. With the arrival of this giant meteorite, many more people have succumbed to the slumber. Strong as the soldiers may be, they are struggling to cope. And there is demand for volunteers everywhere we turn. Main Fräulein and I shall tend to the victims on the soldiers' behalf. The rest of this investigation we place in your capable hands. No, interesante. Goodbye. You are a good listener. I enjoy chatting with you. To be honest, most of the other adventurers in the guild only ever talk to me when they want to hear Oz's reconnaissance reports. <laughs> ¿Por qué será, this little journey we had? It was a great adventure. I'm just sorry that it has to end so abruptly. Huh? You're talking a little weirder than you normally do. Hmm. Oh. Oops. Yikes! What am I doing? I totally broke form. What Main Fräulein means to say is, is, is that the mystical mysteries that vex and perplex are bound to be effortlessly extinguished. By the advent of your commendable courage. Uh, and now Oz's translation is the one that sounds all kooky. <laughs> <clears throat> Main Fräulein simply wishes to say that 
She has every confidence that you will arrive at the truth of this matter. Uh, okay. Most indeed. <laughs> My dear attendants, I hereby charge the Ritter Durva Ertelung with leading you out from the darkness back into the realm of light. Okay. Who are you calling your attendant? <laughs> Las intente. We will meet again. Once this matter is concluded, I propose that we all get a drink together. Okay. <sighs> well, now we're two people short. Hmm. But let's not get hung up about that. The good news is I found something else out. I shaved some dust off the meteorite and used it to do another reading. It was actually really effective. Okay, ¿y ahora dónde nos van a mandar? These have been around for hundreds, maybe even thousands of years. Leonard must have lived a very long time ago. The meteorites carry his will and can pass it on to others. In other words, centuries on from Leonard's life and the strength of his will is not diminished one bit. A guy from the distant past with a burning ambition to scale the highest mountain. I'd be willing to bet that he was an adventurer. Just like you. Okay. An adventurer? That does explain his obsession with mountain climbing. Our approach so far has been too passive, and time has been against us every step of the way. We need to change our strategy, and we need to attack this problem at its source. Paimon agrees. From now on, we need to put Leonard at the center of everything we do. Yes. Algo así. Because if the meteorites carry Leonard's will with them, then it's precisely as Fischl said. The rocks are, in a sense, a curse. I'm a little incredulous, but it turns out her blind guess was actually spot on. No, I'm a respectable astrologist, and I shouldn't stoop to that kind of criticism. Anyway, mm -hmm. all we need to do now is remove the curse. Okie dokie. <sighs> Okie do. Since we've got a historical adventurer on our hands, Paimon thinks we should pay a visit to the sí, pregunta, ¿quién a ver si lo conocen? Our records show that there have been many adventurers by that name over the years. It is impossible Ucha. to know which one you refer to. However, I do recall that there is a book in the library authored by someone called Leonard. Perhaps... Vale, me mandan a la biblioteca. Author Leonard. Where are you, Leonard? Aha! Gotcha! The index says that Leonard's book should be in the northwest corner on the top floor of the library. Piso superior. Northwest corner. Should be right over there. Found it! Of Mountains and Seas, a guide for adventurers written by Leonard. But the words have faded, and there are even pages missing. Paimon's got no hope of reading this. Ay, oh, después nadie esta montaña, algunos estaban, decían todo, sus corazones volvieron. Ah, vale, vale, es ilegible, así que. Mira. Darn. Maybe we're just wasting our time no creo. on this one. Oh, right. Yeah, Mona. She might have a better idea. Look what we found! Leonard wrote a book! Ooh, let me see. <laughs> I could have predicted as much. Your average astrologist would definitely give up at this point. But I am Mona, progenitor of the future of astrology. Nothing can stand in my way. Oy, sí, I simply need to deduce the missing portions with my astrolabe, write them in, and then decipher the text. Vale, mona, le libro. <sighs> Finished at last. So what does it say? Just as I thought. Leonard was an adventurer who lived 2,000 years ago. 
His lifelong dream was to reach the summit of a mountain called Pylos Peak. Two thousand years? So the constellation that caused the meteorites is from two thousand years ago? Somehow, for some reason, this constellation was summoned down from the sky. I suspect that the Fatui have something to do with that part. Paimon thinks so too. Whenever something shady happens, you can bet the Fatui are involved. The meteorites hmm. harbor elemental energy, which radiates out and lulls people to sleep by some means akin to hypnosis. Algo que ya sabíamos, and Mona? if I'm guessing correctly, there should be some sort of core meteorite among the bunch, within which is a crystal that harbors Leonard's spirit. Well, if I were Leonard, I would want to make sure the core lands right on the snowy summit that I never made it to while I was alive. So, the core should be at the top of Pylos Peak? Where is that? Paimon's never heard of it before. It's the first I'd heard of it too. So, I compared the map from the book against the current topography of Mondstadt. Apparently, Pylos Peak? No longer. Are you trying to say that the tallest mountain Paimon's never heard uh, of sí, un cambio la, la I once read somewhere that the Animo Archon, Barbados, once used his divine power to mobilize the winds and blow the ice and snow from the face of the earth. The whole landscape of Mondstadt was changed in the process. The mountains of that age were replaced by the vast stretch of ocean we see today. Still, the mountain that high, drop it into the ocean and it'll still leave a trace. The summit still reaches just above the water's surface. So the place known as Pylos Peak in Leonard's day is today known as Musk Reef. Oh, so this is Pylos Peak. Not much to show for itself now, eh? Looks like someone beat us here. Is this like a popular tourist spot or? No, no, no. Ah, it's you. Uh, uh. Huh? You again? Come and go to the lugar. Look at the state he's in. Was he in that dream just now? He managed to extricate himself from the dream on his own strength? How is that possible? <laughs> Just because you are powerless to do something does not mean that I am. You're too late anyway. I finished my research. We knew it! This was all a dirty trick by the Fatui! Save it! No more fun and games for me today. I'll come for you when I'm good and ready. Uh, que que quiere. You entered the dream they've all been having, didn't you? How much do you know about Leonard? Leonard? Who's Leonard? Ah, uh, whatever. I have bigger fish to fry. I've discovered something far more important and far more terrifying. What? Hmm. The stars, the sky, it's all a gigantic hoax. The stars are a lie. <laughs> what are you talking about? Is this some kind of astrological debate between you and Mona? Because if so, surely you can come up with a better argument than the stars are Ooh, a lie. Y se va a Seriously, who's gonna fall for that one when you can just lift your head up at night and see them up there twinkling away? <laughs> oh, you are so naive, it kills me. Still, can't really blame you. After all, I used to believe the same thing myself. A few moments ago, you mean... Look, I really don't have the time to do this right now. What was the Jester thinking? He must have had some inkling of what we might discover on this mission. Would it really have been so difficult to give me a little forewarning? Hmm. <sighs> Well, maybe he just wanted to give me a Pedralino. fright. Time for me to go out and find the truth. So long, suckers. Ooh. Oh, can you believe that guy? He calls us suckers and then he just trots off. No one disrespects me. 
No one! Ugh. Time to show them what you get when you cross world-class genius with pure, unadulterated rage. Seriously, attack! Wow, you fought so fiercely. Is it no harder, pearl? Told you. That's what happens when you disrespect me. You bet I am. Paimon, you agree too, right? Did I show those Fatui who's boss or what? Sure did. Without you here, those guys would have caused us a whole lot more trouble. See? How do you like that, Harbinger? Scumbag. He seemed genuinely shaken, though. I don't think he was lying. I was always taught to talk about the false sky during astrological readings. <laughs> I digress. Come on, let's finish the job we came to do. Hmm. Whoa! This must be the core! It looks totally different from all the other meteorites. It's way more... shiny. This stone harbors an unbelievable amount of elemental energy and human desire. Yes. Otherwise, the victims will never wake up. This core is the root cause of everything that has happened. Do it! <laughs> With ropes, we can scale mountains. With boats, we can sail the sea. By age 40, I had conquered every last domain. Pylos Peak alone defeated me. As an adventurer, and well, maybe in other ways too. Now, I am approaching the end of my life. Many times I have sat and stared up at that peak as the boundless snow slowly engulfed me. It is a beast without weakness. The merciless face of the world, it fills me with fear. And when an adventurer loses courage, they can no longer climb mountains. My mountaineering days may be over, but I have a greater ambition now. Humans create tools to conquer nature, and when nature conquers them in return, they create better tools. Where our legs cannot take us, maybe our tools can. And when tools fail us, perhaps wings can carry us instead. My dear friend, I leave you my designs for the wings of incompletion. Against the unknown, humanity stands as one. To be alive is to seek. To set foot in every place that the eye can see. I have little time remaining, though the wind has not yet come for my soul. But between us and your children, students, and friends, I believe that someone will reach that place at last. Pucha, qué triste, huevón. Yo creo la jala. Wow. Well, that was unexpected. Who would have thought that human will can survive in the skies for millennia on end? Ah, uh, sí, y no. Astrology really is an incredible thing. Ah. Uh... What makes you say that? The ability to communicate with the stars can give you access to all the secrets from throughout human history. Though, of course, very few astrologists ever reach that level. Uh, what's with the formal tone all of a sudden? And speaking of formal tone, what is the deal with that girl, Fischl? She's a curious one. Bueno, tú no eres precisamente la mejor para decirlo. so too. She's... So, how to put this? <laughs> yeah. Although, if you think about it, seems 
she was right all along. Is she one of these people who uses the wrong method but still gets the right answer? You may well be right. Even so, Paimon thinks that the most surprising thing of all was how Pylos Peak turned into a teeny tiny little island. A mountain of yesteryear now sits as an island in the sea. Almost anyone from Mondstadt could reach it now, just by jumping in a boat. In other words, everyone can climb Pylos Peak now. Uh, so you Do know. you think Leonard would be happy about it? The situation with Pylos Peak might be a bit of a shock. But now, with the help of the Animal Archon, the people of Mondstadt are able to glide. So you with know. wings, people can travel further and higher than ever before and explore new and unknown places. Exactly. The victims should finally start waking up now that we've dealt with the core. And... We have finally finished our commission from the Adventurers Guild. Sí. Vale. Pues hasta aquí creo que termino la historia de Monita y eh, las estrellas. Sí, porque ya no hay otra. No chicos, si no hay nada más que ver en esta historia, espero les haya gustado subir, me despido y nos vemos hasta la próxima. No sin antes haberles dicho muchas gracias por haber venido y continuar conmigo en esta historia sobre las estrellas del cielo y el monte Pileo. Nos vemos. Bye.